What is going on, y'all? This is John Alsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We're bringing you new, up-to-date fantasy content every day on our YouTube channel. So if you have not hit that subscribe button already and you like winning your fantasy leagues, please hit that subscribe button. It helps you out. It helps us out. What the hell you been doing not subscribing to us, bro? Seriously. But without further ado, let's get into one of the last rookie tight ends that I'm going to talk about from this year's draft class. And that is, last but not least, Kylan Granson. The Colts selected SMU tight end Kylan Granson with the 127th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. He is the first tight end that the Colts have taken under GM Chris Ballard. He comes in undersized at 6'1", 241, but he played 50% of his snaps from the slot in two years with the SMU Mustangs in college, and he averaged 16.1 yards per catch and finished second in school history among tight ends in both receptions with 78 and receiving yards with 1,257. Granson has been panned for his lack of blocking chops in this draft process, but he wasn't picked by Ballard to be pushing big bodies off the line of scrimmage. They were looking for a versatile pass catching tight end that they could line up detached from the formation to create mismatches with linebackers. He lacks physicality and the strength to play in line because he's only 6'1", but Granson's speed, he comes with 4'6", 4 speed, explosiveness, he has a 90th percentile broad jump, and he comes with wiggle at the top of his routes too, as he has an 87th percentile three cone drill. This is all great for his pass catching outlook. And to pair with that, Indianapolis Colts tight end saw 22% of the team's targets in 2020. And with new quarterback Carson Wentz, I think that continues as we know that Philip Rivers loved to dump it off close to the line of scrimmage, something that tight ends typically do. That's work that tight ends typically see. But Carson Wentz is the same way. While he does like to open it up down the field a little bit more, he has a history of getting the most out of his tight ends, as Zach Ertz finished as a top three option at tight end in 2017 and 2018 playing with Carson Wentz. Now, he's not the only person who likes tight ends on the team. Frank Reich also likes tight ends, but the position was not a major factor in this offense last season. They had Mo Ali Cox there, and he was the team's top receiver at the position with 394 yards, which ended up being fifth on the team in receiving yards. Jack Doyle had 251 yards, and Trey Burke who has now left the team had 250 yards. Now it has been speculated since they took the pick that Granson was going to slide into that Trey Burton role. In 2019, Doyle was third on the Colts in receiving yards with 448, followed by Eric Ebron who had 375 in 11 games, and Ebron demonstrated the potential of the position under Frank Reich in 2018 when he had 750 yards and 13 touchdowns. Now it has long been speculated that because Trey Burton has vacated, those targets are going straight to Kylan Granson. Jack Doyle and Mo Ali Cox are still on the team and will likely play ahead of Granson to start the year, so don't expect a big rookie blow up from Granson, especially since tight end is one of the hardest positions to acclimate from college to the NFL game. But Mo Ali Cox is on a one-year deal, and Jack Doyle, while he is the number one tight end in this offense, he's 30, and he's soon to be 31, and that's an age cliff where we typically see non-elite tight end options completely fall off from a production perspective. Now, I think they keep him around for the duration of his contract as they need a tight end who can block and do all the dirty work, but I could see Doyle being used in that role while Granson picks up most of the passing game work at the position after this season, once Mo Ali Cox leaves, once T.Y. Hilton is gone, and once Zach Pascal is gone. As for what Granson has done since he's been on the team in OTAs, Granson has, and I quote, made a strong impression, end quote, at, str at spring practices. That comes from the head coach. The Colts are seeing the potential for an early season role for Granson, as Frank Reich has called him an explosive athlete that's picking up the offense fast, but he's still only going to get that Burton role. And the Burton role in Carson Wentz's offense would give Granson around a 34% snap share with upside for more for year one, but he could be getting more than 50% of the snap share at tight end by year two. So he's a tight end three for 2021, but he could be a tight end two as soon as next season. And he has the pass catching chops and the athleticism chops to make some waves in 2022 and beyond. So that said, I love his dynasty value, but he's off my board in season long and in best ball for this year. But he is definitely an intriguing prospect. And I do like the landing spot because as I said before, Carson Wentz and Frank Wright 
Reich both love to target their tight ends. So what do you guys think? Are you guys looking at Kylan Granson in season long leagues? Or like me, is he completely off your board until that 2022 season? Put your thoughts in the comments section below. This is Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new up to date fantasy content every day on our YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed already and you like winning your fantasy league once again, then hit that subscribe button, y'all. Helps us out, helps you out. But once again, thank you for listening. My name is John Alsace. Have a great day.